Uh, so I'm going to explain my 22.00 FMC mean that I set at Malaysia Cube Championship 2022. Uh, this mean is WR4 in the world at the time of this recording, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so the first solve, uh, it had six bad edges on the green face, uh, four on the red face, and six on the white face. So usually I spend the first 10 minutes of every attempt just writing down as many EOs as I can. And on this attempt, I managed to get 71 of them. Uh, these, I put these numbers in like as I was counting after the attempt, because during the attempt, I don't really count. So yeah, I got 71 of these. And when I start checking EOs, I usually just start from the NIST EOs first, because they're cool. So I just do them first. I, I, don't, I don't even think that's a good thing, but I just do it anyway. So this is the one that I ended up using, so I'll, I'll show it to you. On normal, the green uh, axis, there are three behind and the remaining three are just like somewhere in front. So uh, there's a few ways to do this in normal, uh, in four moves, but I just did a B to reduce it to four. And I by tracking the pieces, I knew that on the inverse, it the continuation gave, uh, resulted in a four move EO. So I switched and as expected, uh, the four bad edges are here. So two here, one at over here and one in front. And the remaining three moves to get a form of EO is, uh, is fairly straightforward, but uh, instead of just writing down one single continuation, one single continuation, I wrote down uh, a few variations to make it five moves because I feel like just switching and then checking only one EO is a waste of, a, is, is a waste of an inverse scramble. So if I had more things to check, it would be more worth my time. So for example, you can do useless things like B to like just, it changes the edges around, but it doesn't change the EO case. But what I did was something a little different. Uh, what I ended up going with was slightly different. So I did L2 to put three of them here. And now the front face is completely free of bad edges. So I can just do an F2 and then insert the last one and do a B. And uh, this gave uh, dr minus 4E, 4C. And the two big blocks are already solved. So just it's just three more moves to dr. So it's a dr in eight moves. Um, I found this with about 17, uh, no, I found this at about 17 minutes, so I was very amused and uh, I didn't immediately continue to, I didn't immediately try to finish this DR, but what I did was I just solved the corners first to check how many quarter turns it needed. So I didn't really know the solution for this case like off the top of my head, so I just tried b building some stuff like this layer, uh, this three quarter of a layer. And the remaining case is, is this simple five mover. So it was a three quarter turn DR in eight moves. So I had a pretty good, I had a pretty good feeling that this was going to be my final solution. Uh, but I put this off for a while and I went to continue checking other EOs. Uh, I think I got to about, I, I finished checking this entire normal set. And then I, I think I got about here and it was about half an hour. Uh, so I decided I would just like ignore the rest of these, just discard them, and then try to finish this 8-move DR that I found. So because of the way the corner solution is, is over here, if you don't mind the sloppy handwriting, uh, because there are these three half turns here, I did not really feel like it was efficient to try to get a HDR directly on the inverse, because I would have to pass through these three um, half turns here, that wouldn't be very, that wouldn't be very efficient. So I decided to do a single D move and then switch to normal and try to approach HDR from this side because I, it, it was a bit shorter to it. Yeah, so that's what I did. Uh, I did a D immediately after the DR. And I, before I switched, I counted how many bad pieces there were. And it's a, it's a DR minus, uh, it's a HDR minus 4C2E. So I knew it was going to be a 4C2E on the normal as well. So if we switch to normal, that's indeed what that's indeed what we get. Uh, two bad edges here, and the four corners are here. However, this case is isn't very good, and but that's one of one other one other thing I noticed was that because the corner solution ends with an L two, which is one of the side moves of the DR, I knew that if you if the last move of the corner solution is a side move, and you have a DR uh, setup move at like after it, you can actually flip the direction of this B, let's say turn it into a B prime, 
and you can still get HDR in a like the it doesn't depend on the direction of this B so that's what I did I just switched the B around and it, uh, the, pe the bad pieces are now here uh, let me see okay here and I just so I just did an R2 and the corners are now set up for the dream move trigger to get HDR but the edges are all sort of opposite of where they need to be so this needed to be here but and this needed to be here but it doesn't matter because this case is still doable in uh, not too many moves it's five moves so U L2 F2 B2 D that gives HDR in uh, it's a HDR in uh, by, in by adding seven moves so it's a HDR in 15 and the remaining uh, solution is very easy I think anyone can find this just, just do B2 U2 to make some blocks and the rest of it is solved so it's a 5 move finish of a 15 to HDR so that's 20 um, I, I got that solution in about maybe 40 minutes around there I don't exactly remember but after I've, I got this I wrote it down on my sheet I made sure it was correct and everything and then I just finished checking the rest of these EOs in case there was a 19 or something that I missed or something, but there wasn't any. And I also wrote down an extra four like weird miss EOs over here to make 75 total. But um, when I was checking these, I wasn't doing it very thoroughly. I kind of just, if it wasn't immediately a DR trigger, I just abandoned the EO immediately. I didn't even bother checking for anything else. And actually on this scramble, I didn't find many other DRs that were worth checking. The most worth one was this one, which was an 11 move, three quarter turn DR. But even that case was, like that DR was pretty bad somehow, so uh, really this was the only uh, potential solution that I, this was the only DR that had any kind of solution that I found out of it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that's 20 tight NR single. It's the first solve, so I was, I got a bit nervous, I guess, but anyway. So this is the second scramble. Um, it had four bad edges on the green axis, six on red and four on white and also it had a square but um when i started this solve and i saw the square i decided i didn't i won't get tempted by this and i'll just like ignore block building completely and just do dr because uh many times in the past i have tried to do block building and i just dnf so i just decided i'm not gonna do that i'll i don't care if it gets broken or anything so uh the eo that i used was a pretty simple one on normal um these two are here and the four bad edges are just here so it, there's two ways to do this but i did l d2 b to get a green front eo uh, also on this solve i wrote down 51 eos and i actually managed to check all of them but anyway uh yeah so after this three move eo i looked at red dr and there were two edges and five corners that are uh, yeah, so it's DR minus 5, let me think, sorry, the words are not coming to my head. Um, DR minus 5C4E, so two are here. I just need uh, one of, I, I saw this, so I just did D prime, nope, that's not D prime, I did L prime D to reduce it to uh, 2E4C. So I saw this is here and this is here. So what I did was um, I wanted to connect these like headlights to this pair over here. So I did L2, B2 to create the, the top part the, the top part that I need for the trigger. And all I need to do is fill in this last corner, which is here. So I just put it there and I did the DR trigger. So that's a DR in 11 moves. Uh, it, looks, it looks pretty promising. The square is still preserved, but who cares? Uh, the, this corner solution, let me see, it's, okay, this corner solution, I see this uh, opposite sort of block here, and the two reds are here, like the two red corners are here, so I want to I wanna join the two corners together to create an opposite block as well. I do that, I insert this, but before I insert this block down here, I do an F2 to cancel it, and it's a three quarter turn. Uh, it's a three quarter turn uh, corner case in 11 moves. I mean, it's not the best ever, but I just decided to look at it because it was very blocky. So I switched back, I switched to the inverse to try to do HDR because um, 
on the normal, you have to pass through this one extra um, half turn. Whereas on the inverse, you could just go through it directly. And this, oops, this uh, U2B2 thing, it looks like it's two half turns, but in reality, you can do it as one. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. So here, uh, my move was to do, let me see, my, my move was to do L prime at first, just follow the corner solution. But it actually gave me um, HDR minus 4E4C, which is not what you want for a two quarter turn case. So before I did, oops, let me get rid of this. Okay, before I did the L prime to re, to like re, to get the corners to the correct uh, position, I did a random E2 move, so U2 D2. To because uh, it became 4E4C because um, there's one here and there's one bad edge here. So when you did the thing, it it creates four. So, but if they were on the same face like this, then doing the L prime gives a uh, 2E4C, which is good. And indeed, that's what we see. So there's this big chunk over here and the remaining corner is here. We just, we just do an F2 to pair these up. And uh, let's see, I did L, F2, L prime to get HDR. This HDR was pretty long. Um, it's in 18 moves, but I mean, it's in, it's in 18 moves, but um, I see this pair and this edge, so we just join those together. U2, and what do you know, it's another 5 move finish, so that's a 23. Um, I got this at about 48 minutes or something, so I, I was quite concerned because the scramble looked pretty easy. I mean, there's that square, but I wasn't finding much actually until this DR, so I mean, I was pretty happy that I didn't DNF, honestly. and. But the problem is that um, apparently if you, let me try to get this back, um, okay, so, okay, so if if I had done the the DR trigger, la the last move, the other way, um, now these two corners are paired up and the, I could just solve the corners in a similar way and this actually gave a 9 move finish for a 20. So I, I, I missed a 20 on this one, which is kind of annoying. And I really should have checked the, the other one, but I, I guess I was just a bit too relaxed after I got this 23 that I just neglected to like check the this variation. And yeah, I mean, if I had gotten this, then the final result would have been WR mean because it would be a 21 mean. But honestly, right, uh, if you ask me, I think if I, got, if I started with two 20s, my mental state after this would just be like gone and then I probably would have just DNF the third solve or something. Yeah, so I mean it's it's a bit sad that I missed two twenties, but it's it's fine to me. So this is the last scramble. Um when I went into this attempt I was very nervous because I knew that um ASR was within reach and like that messed with my mind a little bit. But anyway, there were four bad edges on the green front, six on red and eight on white. Um, I only wrote down 31 EOs on this scramble, not because of, not really because of nerves or anything, but like, uh, I think two or three of the um, possible, two or three out of six of the possible axes didn't have any less than five move, uh, sorry, less than six move EOs. So I just, yeah, there just wasn't, there, there weren't too many options, but luckily there were, there's a very easy one on green, which is what I did. So there's four bad edges here, and I mean, it's a simple three move EO, so RD F prime. That, that that's EO and three, and this is a uh, on white on the white top DR. This is a DR minus six uh, E four C, so I wanted to reduce it down to a four C a four E four C, and I can I, and I saw that you can do this in one move because this this like bar is here, this will this will uh, orient two corners, but this will misorient two corners, and it will also like solve these two edges. So I just do it R prime, and that's DR minus four E four C. Uh, to set up the two bars, it's pretty easy because this one is already aligned nicely. Just do a B2, that's solved. Then I just connect this last corner into this, so D prime F2, and align the bars R. That's a DR in ten moves, and this uh corner case, it's not, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. Um, it's not too difficult. So, this, what I recognize is um this three quarters of a face kind of thing. Then these two are opposites. There's a pair of opposites here and an adjacent, uh, sorry, and a solved and an adjacent uh, configuration. 
So the solution is just align the two like misoriented ones here. We do a B2 and it just reduces into that funny five mover thing. And that, that's it. So this is a three quarter turn corner case uh, in 10 moves, which is not bad. I found a few other like, I found a few other like three quarter turn DRs yeah, and even a two quarter turn DR. Let me see. Yeah, there's a, no, these, these are three quarter turn DRs. I found a few like three quarter turn DRs in like 10 or 11 moves. But this is the one that ended up giving me the final solution. So we will start with this. Okay, so I, I, I found that if you just do a D on normal to, if we just follow the corner solution and try to get a linear HDR, it reduces it to force D or minus four is four E four C, but it's a two quarter turn one. So like, it's not exactly the best case. And in fact, this, this case is pretty bad, I, I, I think. So I tried to switch to inverse directly from here in case it's a nice setup on the inverse. And it, I mean, it actually was, but I'll, I'll show you. So uh, the bad pieces, there's a pair of bad pieces here. And there's, there's this like big like shape of bad pieces down here. So the way to, the way to set this up to the DR minus 4 E4C trigger is L2, B2, which um, creates this like J-shaped piece over here and this like J, this like double J things. I don't know, that's how I recognize it. So now that it's set up, we do a U prime to put the J's like opposite each other. Then we do B2, L2, which is the trigger, D prime. So this is, this is HTR in, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is HTR in 17 moves, right? And I mean, the continuation is pretty easy from here. We, if we do R2, B2, it's, uh, it gives us 3E e and E slice in 19 moves. So I know that E slices can be solved in like zero or one moves. And so it's, it's basically a 3E e in 19, right? And actually, just by solving 3E e directly from here, it cancels five. So the L goes like, B2, R2, this, that's the cancellation. B2, R2, F2, U2, uh, B2, L2, F2, D2, and this D2 cancels with the one on the normal. So, yeah. And that gives me with, that leaves me with E slice in 22 moves. So at this point, I was, I kind of hoped that this would solve in zero, which would give me ASR. But I mean, it, unfortunately it didn't. Um, but I can show you how I sliced it, actually. Nah, never mind, I'm lazy. Anyway, the slice solved in one, so that was 23. Yeah, so actually the optimal for this DR, when I checked later, it involved um, just going directly on the inverse to just do a HTR, which, I mean, on okay, when I was trying to slice the slice my 22 to slice and get my final solution, I misscrambled so many times that by the time I actually had a working solution, I only had about five minutes left, right? So I, I, I don't know, it was, I was not in a good state or something. And like, uh, yeah, I found this quite late. So like, if, if I wasn't nervous, I probably would have had enough time to try the inverse HDR. And I probably would have gotten this 22, which would have given me, a, which would have given me ASR, but you know, it's, it's fine, I guess, because uh, yeah, I mean, nerves and everything, right? So, and of course, in theory, if I had found a 20 on the previous one and a 22 here, that would be a 20.67 mean. But, you know, we don't think about these things. It's 22.0, it's WR4, who cares? Uh, 